That's how he's well coming. he's played. Yeah, he's coming on. He'll fake it on first down at all kinds of time. Looking to go deep. He had nowhere to go with the ball. Corral's good throwing on the move. He'll sling that one sidearm style along the sideline complete. Ontario Drummond with the catch for an Ole Miss first down. Outside the numbers. Receivers are far outside the numbers. Creating a lot of space. Healy gets the carry. Bounces it right side with a blocker out in front. Nice patient run inside the 10. Down close to the 5. It's going to be first to goal Ole Miss. Bigger the back goal. with Stu Connor. Connor and the ball's not handled properly. It's a fumble. Arkansas comes up with it. And they do hold. Jalen Catalan came up with the football for the Razorbacks, and somehow Arkansas prevents Ole Miss from getting points on the board. Randy Edsel would be, would be very happy to pass that uh, title <laughs> on. Swing pass, left side, turn up field, broken tackle along the left sideline. Huge game for Traylon Burks inside the 25, the 20, inside the 15. Offensive line going since they haven't reached the end zone with the rushing touchdown yet this year. Will this be it? There it is. The first one for the Razorbacks. Rakeem Boyd healthy again this week for the first Arkansas rushing touchdown of 2020. Backs a second chance. The big play set up the power football on the goal line. Yeah, nothing fancy about it. Here we are coming right at you. Look at the box. Only five defenders to defend the run. All that space that you were talking about. And still the pressure comes straight up the middle. The sack for Arkansas. And a 20 for Ole Miss. Moore back in the game. That's good news. Play fake to Connor. Corral throwing across the middle complete for a first down outside the 45-yard line. Making you defend the entire width of the field. We'll swing it out to Connor here. Connor made a nice move to get to the outside and pick up the first down and more inside the 40. Excellent third down team through their first three games. Trailing 7-0, third and 11. Corral pressured again, tried to get away and could not. Arkansas comes up with another stop. Grant Morgan with the sack. Third and eight, short of midfield. Razorbacks trying to convert. Franks in the pocket, plenty of time. Now that time runs out and he goes down. Well, good coverage down the field for Ole Miss because he had time. It ended up being Ryan Anderson who got there and gets credit for the sack. Get the ball in the hands of their best players. Play fake, Corral gonna throw. Corral, that one into coverage and it's intercepted. Intercepted by Arkansas. It's ultimately pretty well defended considering. Now Franks takes a couple steps forward, throws backwards. Burks, I think, was going to throw the ball. Instead, he keeps it, and there's Traylon Burks inside the 10. He's a guy who, in his career, has thrown the ball. He's got an arm. I think it was designed to be a throw, and he just took off. When a team commits a turnover, make them pay for the turnover. Kick from A.J. Reed is up and good. Safety in instead of a linebacker. And Barry Odom, the first-year defensive coordinator, head coach at Missouri. The last few years, there's another pick. Arkansas has got another one, and this one's going to turn into points. Jalen Catalan cut right in front of the football and takes it to the end zone. Into that thing, Rod, another great play by the Arkansas defense. Yeah, a two-deep look. You'll see Jalen Catalan on the hash there, a two-deep look they give. They spin one safety down over there in the flat. He is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way, and he feels the, the attack by Mingo coming across the field, sees the quarterback, release the ball, excellent job, and just drives on it. He looks like he's the receiver there. That You can't play that any better. Impossible. Can get you into the coverages and the pressure packages that he wants to use. I think Odom's had enough time to make some calls, have an impact on this game. That was a great throw across the middle. Catch and run for a big gain, Ole Miss. There's Elijah Moore into Arkansas territory inside the 35, down to the 33. Teams have had issues with players in and out of practice. He missed most of camp. Franks is going to throw it backwards there, and then the turn up field by Traylon Burks. What a nifty play that was for an Arkansas first down. Final three minutes of the first half. Third and 12. Franks throws across the middle. He's got his man caught. First down, Arkansas. Tyson Morris. This one officially a 32-yard try, and the kick is up and right down the middle. Good. Arkansas adds to their lead. 20 to nothing, Razorbacks with 1.41 to go in the first half. They get it in the end zone. Third 
goal to go situation of the game. He throws it. Corral does more with the catch for the touchdown. Down 105 yards. This is on the line. Needs his offense to help his defense out. Defense can't do it alone. The offense has been quiet at the start of the second half. Franks gets away from the initial pressure and now gets hit hard and goes down. And the ball, came, the ball out came out along the sideline. Ole Miss recovered it in bounds. So they looked at it in the replay room, confirmed it. Turnover. Ole Miss has a chance to get right back, and they throw an interception. Interception, Arkansas. Amazing. Greg Brooks comes up with it. The nickel back for the Razorbacks, and Lane Kiffin cannot believe it. Right at midfield. After the huge play by the Razorbacks defense, Franks across the middle. That one is juggled, and it's intercepted. John Haynes, it looked to me like, was the guy who came up with almost like a tip ball interception. So Franks gives it up for the second possession in a row. By the end of this year, will surpass any of those guys for single season production. It is a different offense, that's for sure. That's another wow. bad pass and another wow. pick. Amazing. Wow. That's the Hudson second one Clark for Hudson comes up Clark. with another one. Ely on the left side of Corral. Play fake to him. Corral throws. Caught. And touchdown. Jonathan Mingo. A really nice job by Matt Corral. Back around to find Mingo. Not even looking there at first, taking his time, coming back around, and Mingo just kind of sneaking in between. That had a chance to be a negative play. Instead, it's third and one. Franks throwing. Franks to the end zone, and it was caught for a touchdown. Burks with an amazing catch. Football, and he needed them here. Look at this. Big paw goes up, pulls it in. Foot down. Control. He had that left hand underneath the ball so that his hand is between the ball and the ground. So any slight movement is okay. What a catch. How many receivers in college football could have caught that ball the way it was thrown? The play is under review. His hands are larger than 10 inches across the width. A little bit larger, and he'd have the hands the size of Shaq. Another great stop by the Oregon defense. And they're faking the punt, and it's going to work. Somehow Arkansas didn't see that coming for a huge game. Down the left sideline, Ole Miss baby saves their chances in this one. Ely, left side, first down, Ole Miss. Quickly to the line. A fake punt may have saved Ole Miss's chances. Corral got hit. Ely punches it in. Touchdown. The key, as you mentioned, was the fake punt. And this is really just Ely pounding his way into the end zone. And now it is a... Second and 12, Corral zips one, it's intercepted again. Greg Morgan comes up with another pick inside the 10. Touchdown, Arkansas. Are you kidding me? He's playing with one arm. Wow. Again, he's just reading eyes, and he sees exactly where Corral is going and steps right in front. We talked all game about the fact that they were not allowing deep throws, playing very deep coverage and having four or five underneath guys who were reading the quarterback's eyes. Five picks today. Worth the short throw. Invited them to run. Fourth and 17. That one is intercepted again. Hudson Clark's trick. got another one. He's got a hat trick. What a win for Sam Pittman and his Arkansas team. Just amazing. The turnaround for this program is unlike many we've seen in recent college football history. I know that it's only four games, but Arkansas was hapless and helpless.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.